And it goes on in verse 5, For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. This is why we ought to say Jesus is coming. This is what our hope is. Um, in, in verse 6, And he said unto me, These things are faithful and true. So what, 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 did, what did he say? Uh, uh, these things are faithful and true. You're going to get a win for all the money. He didn't say that. What did he say? These things are faithful and true. Uh, you know, uh, I'm going to crush your enemy's head. Well, he, he going to do that, but he didn't tell you he was going to do that right now. You know, what did he say? These things are faithful and true. So this don't come by prophet lying. That's somebody saying God told me something. It don't even line up with scripture. This don't come by imagination. It doesn't come by some ideology or some, some philosophy. This come by divine revelation. That word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. The Bible says, and he said unto me, and this is verse 6, child of God, I'm getting happy. These sayings are faithful and true, and the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angels to show unto his servants and the things which shall shortly be done. Now, verse 7. It, 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 this is why I prefer to read this in the King James Bible. My mother gave me this Bible. Every English Bible, child of God, I own, my mother gave to me. I, I got a lot of them. I brought some, but I'm also by more uh, Bibles in other languages and stuff like that. I'm not boasting, but I'm just letting you know. I like this King James because my verse 7 is in red. And yours should be in red too. Behold, this is what Christ is saying. I come quickly. I like this. I mean, it, 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 we ought to stop right there and pause. You know, when, when you see this red in your Bible, how can you just gloss past that? Now, we didn't talk about that, this pure wood river. Um, a water, a life, clear as crystal. We were impressed by that, weren't we? Uh, we talked about in the midst of the street, this verse 2, on either side of the river was there a tree of life. We were impressed by that too. But in verse 7, the Bible says, Behold, I come quickly. Now, he says that I come quickly. And, and that's what it says in the Greek New Testament. He says, Behold. He said, Now, you, you, I want you to stop. Take a break. Uh, and consider this behold that's what that behold is he says now I come um, and he says that I come quickly then he says makarios uh, that's blessed uh, the one who keepeth and what are you keeping the sayings of the prophecy of this book this is why in chapter 1 verse 3 it reads blessed that's makarios too that's one who's highly favored. That's one God has blessed. Now, in Revelation chapter 1 verse 3, Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. So this blessing is repeated. In verse 7, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of this prophecy of this book. We ought to hold that near and dear, that Jesus is coming back. That's what we ought to hold. And when we hold that near and dear, that trumps all of all this, this prosperity ministry. That trumps now this kingdom now stuff. You know, people say we're in the kingdom now. If we're in the kingdom now, are you impressed? If we're in the kingdom now, according to your scriptures, why are we waiting on Jesus to come back? Jesus says, behold, I come quickly. These are the things that should come here after. This is why I've been reading Revelation chapter 1 verse 19 every session. These are the things that come here after. These things are still future. 